throw shit out the windows. Like, I'm talking about I used to fuck a police officer's fiance. And he told me all the tricks. You know nobody don't believe that, right? get weed from a police officer. An alabaster police officer. The same one that I was fucking his fiance. And there's a pretty good chance I have a daughter named I ain't gonna say the daughter name, fucking Savannah. And uh and uh and I think he even knew. What do you think, Mom? I don't He's come into our apartment, full uniform, Alabaster Police, full uniform, and fucking give me weed. We do trades. I know y'all don't believe that. Hell, I wouldn't either, but it's true. Mama's witnessed it, didn't you? Yeah. Even Daddy seen him come in a bunch. You know what was weird? Went to, and Mom, you saw this. One time, he knocked at the door, okay, and he wanted me to shut, and he always, and he knocked at the door in full uniform, as always, he always liked to wear his uniform a lot, and he wanted uh, me to hold his brand new pistol that he said he just bought. I thought that was a little weird. I told him, no, I don't like holding guns, I'm scared of guns. And I was thinking in my head, is he wanting me to hold this pistol where I can get my fingerprints on it? Uh, Remember me telling you that? Yeah. And he seemed a little disappointed that I wouldn't hold the pistol. He's like, no, hold it. It's okay. It's not loaded. I don't know. I'm scared of guns. That scared the shit out of me. And he said if I ever told on him, or got him busted or something, or told his CO or whatever, that it would not be good for me. And I think he meant that he would kill me. He didn't say he'd kill me, but he said it wouldn't be good for me. If I give his full name out and go to his CO or film him or do something. Every time he'd come in my room, he had this goddamn weird device. And he'd uh, hold it and he'd fucking hover it around me and shit. And he'd uh, aim it at the smoke detector. He'd press a button and it shined like a weird little weird infrared light or something. I don't know. It's weird. And it had an antenna on it too. I said, what is that? He said, don't worry about it. But I did some research, and you know what it was? He was checking for cameras and bugs. So, if it started beeping, or if he shined that thing when he looked at that little thing, he could... He could tell if it was a camera hidden somewhere. And if it started beeping, he could tell it's a microphone somewhere. You remember he came in with that damn device? Yeah. He wouldn't tell me what it was, but I figured it out. I did some research, goddammit. That motherfucker checking for fucking bugs, like listening devices and cameras. And he always wanted me to go to the bathroom and examine the weed that he gave me. But he didn't want me to do it in front of him. And he closed the door. And he told me to close the bathroom door because he didn't want to see, let my mom or dad see me what I was doing. And he said, he, and he closed the door. So I'm thinking he was doing further inspection of my bedroom. And he said, if I ever said anything, he said his full name, that it would not be good for me. And he looked me dead in the eye. Then he shook my hand every time. And he did it hard as hell. 
like so hard where it hurt. But I pretend it didn't hurt. But it did hurt. And I would never ever say his full name. And if anybody would ever say anything or if anybody ever figured it out and said anything. He don't work for Alabaster no more by the way. I just want y'all to know that. He don't. But if anybody, he's still police, but he's not police in Alabaster, let me just say that. Uh, uh, he would fucking, I think he would kill me. I really do. He didn't say that, but the way he acted and everything, I think he would literally kill me. I mean, who would, who in the hell would they believe? A cop, cop, a cop, and he, he was in the Navy, he got all kinds of plaques and shit, awards, all kinds of fucking, uh, what do they call, citations or whatever, all kinds of fucking everything, all kinds of shit. He was in the goddamn Navy for like, what, eight years? got an honorable discharge? And he made it all the way to a rank of like lieutenant, I think first class or some shit. I know he wasn't no damn general or nothing, but first class lieutenant, that's pretty good. I guess. If I like hit a camera and film the drug interaction and busted him, I think because he said he told me if he got it, if I told he would lose everything, his career, he would never ever be able to be a cop again, he would never be able to be on the drug task force agency again. It would ruin his career. So therefore, I think he would kill me and make it look like I was trying to hurt him and he killed me in self-defense or something, I don't know. 